You have to bring back some Grim Sang if you want me to finish the Plasma Tonic. Better get moving. I like this guy. So far, I really like the character's last. Oh god damn it, why did I leave? Of course there's gonna be my song now. Hmm? Wait, what? Who was that? Okay. So let me guess, human meat is gonna be a valuable m thing at this market, so he's gonna try to hunt me. What a creep. I mean, he's just going to his shop, like, no need to be rude about that. Who? Iron dust and fillings are flowing from the hardware workshop into the surrounding buildings. That doesn't sound go too good when you're, let's say, selling food. Their work is so noisy that I can't focus on making the meds properly. Miss Jong. Oh wow. Memo. Underground shopping center. Hardware store. And grandmother's rice cakes. Oh yeah, we know those two places. Weren't they literally the in the same place? Or at least the... Grandmother's rice cakes mentioned that the guy walks through there. Strange sinkholes and eldritch walls have been appearing. They're blocking the pathways and complicating things for our customers. Don't let this deter you from business as usual, though. Besides, we don't want the CEO to see us wasting time in the office. The help us shops have been isolated by the walls, but you can still reach them through the hardware store. I told the owner to keep the back door open, Lady Boo. Okay, so this seems kind of obvious, so we're supposed to go to the hardware store, and that's the way we can go. Wait, how are we supposed to go to the hardware store in the face first place? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right, Grandmother's Rice Cakes mentioned that hardware guy went through there, so it's probably related. Okay, okay. I still feel pretty dumb when playing these games because I have no clue what's going on. Anyway. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. No answer. I need to find that Grim Sang fast. Yeah, she doesn't seem to be in good health. Hyung Bae, what the hell is with this guy? What? He actually. Wait, I thought he's not gonna pick up. Mina, I'm busy now. Call you later. Hey, wait. What? I'm so surprised. Young me. Okay, okay. This is getting interesting. I'm guessing she's gonna talk about the fact that we're supposed to go to the herbal market, or what's called herbalist. Right. You're our shamanka, so I take if you're familiar with otherworldly plants. Ever heard of Grim Seng? Of course. Any shamanka worth her salt knows what Grim Seng is. Well, I need your help finding some. Do you know any shopkeepers that carry it? Hmm. It's probably out of season. Try searching the herbalist shop in the northeast corner of the market. But the path there is... blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to how frustrated you sound. You think you're the only one who's had issues finding what they need tonight? Welcome to the club. Ask the locals. They know this market better than I do. Okay. I mean, I know where I'm supposed to go, so... We fine. Tone page. It's this button. Flesh floors. Oh, hell yeah. I'll be honest, I still don't know what a flesh floor is. Like, it was explained in note in the first game, but I still have zero clue. I thought it's the, like, the eldritch walls, the tentacles, and overall the explody pots. Meanwhile, in this game it was described as if the things like Miss Song even are fresh flows, so I have zero clue what is that even anymore, to be honest. Table of contents, what's that? Oh. Flesh floors are macabre entities constructed through the use of eldritch blood magic to serve the whims of their masters. They may be mindless or possess cunning intelligence. Their powers wax and wane with the influence their masters exert over the domains in which they roam. It is a powerful agent of force and will carry out its master bidding with a single mind focus. These creatures also have the limited ability to face into new locations, allowing them to traverse vast distances in seconds. Is that how it's explained that Miss Song could go into the ceiling and just teleport to the right side of the wall uh, of the location? 
Should a fresh one was created to die, however, it too will suffer the same fate. Hmm. Okay, I need to drink again. Oh my god, the Dokaebi has a cool art. Wait. Look at his art, it's, it looks so sick. Wait, the lady at the bottom just disappeared. Huh. You can see still the... Yeah, so here. No lady here. Unusual. But yeah, the Dokaebi is shown as a dragon. Or at least something similar to one. Let's go to those rice cakes. Okay, I thought he was gonna go out of that place and gonna chase me. Turn page. How can I move through here? Excuse me, do you know how to get around this wall? This? Then thing appeared out of nowhere. You should visit the market services office. They know the layout of this place better than anyone else. Their office is on the second floor of the building where that Dokebi does business. Okay, so we were there already. Okay. Ah, oh, god damn it. Get dodged. So flesh floors are not actually what I thought they are. They're just the puppets. Because from the description, like, fresh floor, I don't know what does does that even mean. Flesh, I know that. I know what's flesh. But frol, what the hell is frol? So I thought it's just a puppet, not uh, not the control creation of the monster. Shades. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Another note. I like the notes in this game, but why are they so freaking long, bro? <laughs> damn. I feel like I spent 50% time of this episode just reading. I didn't even... I, nothing happened in this episode yet. <laughs> or at least this recording, because I guess it is, this is gonna be the 6th episode now. Shades are powerful local spirits that inhabit the coma. They are sentient manifestations of the collective emotions, historical trauma and human routines associated with a specific area. Shades are highly territorial and will go through great lengths to exert control over the domain that bind them. Shadows naturally gravitate towards the willpower of their shade. While these entities may be benign or dangerous, they are often deceitful and willing to manipulate global humans to achieve their ends. Their surroundings influence their forms, and it is unknown to what degree they may control their appearances. In rare occurrences, a shade may manifest from the powerful emotion of a single individual from the waking world. Okay. It is still kinda strange that we met many shades in the in these games. We met the writer, we met the shade which was in the police station. I'm not quite sure if that guy who was an undercover cop was also a shade. But it appears that only like sister has a lot of power so far. Which makes me feel like the school had so much negative emotions that it just manifests such a powerful entity, which not gonna lie, kind of funny. I should be able to go through here, right? The door is locked. There should be a key somewhere here. Oh, here. Does this have something to do with the shop's key? Oh my god, <laughs> the image. It looks so nice. Okay, so where is this? Rice cakes, and it's around the. Right wall. Right here. Right here. What? Again. So it's like under the right door. Okay. Is this the only place where that is? Yeah, that. Okay. How can I not find this? Shouldn't it be here? Like I swear that it's the same place. Or maybe you're supposed to go here and then, right? Nope. Like, it feels like the picture depicts this place, this location specifically, so... What the hell? Oh god damn, what the hell is that? It's invisible! Found it. You received the market shop key. Great. Oh, dude! Chill! I thought only one thing is gonna go after me. Uh oh. Not ideal. I don't have stamina. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I might die. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my fucking god. What the hell is going on? I mean, not sure. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, I've just lost all my food. Not good. I 
forgot where all the hiding sp uh, spots were. And I forgot that you should hide from the monster. Fuck. The energy recharge, holy moly, that is insane. Okay, let me buy healing for two. For free? Maybe I should just keep my money. Maybe not. I'm saying that, but it does feel like a bad idea to have 15k and just be like, nah, I think I'll just stay without any, like, good things. So yeah, in the future we won't be able to play like that. I'm just gonna be dead instantly. What the hell is this? Ah! I noticed that after he attacked me. Where am I even? Oh, it's this place. I thought this was gonna be hiding spawn. Is this a... Oh, this is another one of these things. Oh wait, this... I know what this is. You ha you're supposed to find all of these to be safe. No, 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 we're not doing that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, right? Because it seems that you just put this random thing, because we didn't have any interaction with a person to say, hey, I need uh, some kind of item. Maybe it's gonna save us. So let me guess. If we get all these switches, we can go from the second floor, right, and be safe completely from the monster. Because we'll be going up the ladder, ladder or something, okay? But if we don't do these switches, we need to go to floor one, knock on the wall, which is gonna attract the monster, he's gonna slash us, and we're gonna go out. I'm calling it right now. But okay, the, the buff with this energy is insane! Like, it's not, it's supposed to be weaker than the infinite energy, but like, bro, it's basically infinite energy. Monster is never gonna be able to go after me if I have this much uh, just regen. The Notemen. The Notemen are shades bound to a local domain and cursed with an unending compulsion to record the thoughts and utterings of folk from the waking world. So there are multiple. Unlike their brethren, they are naturally attuned to receive the information, no matter how discreet it may be. It also seems they show no discrepancy between what they record, aside from a tendency to focus on darker thoughts. They do this in the form of loose leaf notes, sticky memos, or scrolls left on the walls. Despite their highly compulsive nature, it can still be unpredictable, and contact with them should be conducted cautiously. Okay, I read that word. Cautiously. Yeah, we had the, the Noteman in the first game. Wait, is there a hiding spot here? Okay, I guess I hide. But yeah, the... We had the Noteman in the first game who was a bit like that and I guess the cautiously conducting with them it either could mean that you, sh you should be careful about uh, talking with them or you should be careful when talking with them because in the first game if you did one bad answer like the Noteman was like done with you completely so they could mean either that or the fact that they can lie or something Let me hide Oh right, it isn't uh, isn't down, so I'm safe. I don't know any hiding spots, so I could die. I know one hiding spot. Let's go. The hunting gear, the hunting gear here suggests. What does it suggest? I don't know. Wait, well, am I not in a building? Have I heard stuff? What's going outside, or is he actually in the building? Did he go away? No clue. I can always go down the stairs and go up and be safe, so I don't think I'm need to shit bricks right now. The hunting gear here suggests the owner enjoys their hobby. This hobby. I'm quite hesitant to even touch these traps. Yeah, these on the walls better not touch them. Can I hide here? I can. Okay, we, I think we heard stuff outside because why would you have a safe point in a place where the monster can be? It doesn't sound like... Uh, it doesn't sound very coma-ish. It looks like the owner was using this workbench to make traps for animals. I may be able to make something here. Oh, well that changes completely how I felt then. I thought we will need to use these switches to get that way of uh, leaving this place. But I guess it's not related or maybe you can lo lose two maximum health in this location? If you fuck up both of the objectives? Which, by the way, we're gonna do. Okay, this one we need to hide from. 
Yeah, there's, there's just cats. Let's just follow it, I guess. I didn't die? Oh, not meant. Hello. Okay, nothing of value to here. Do have some energy? Mm -hmm. Should I buy this or should I not? When can I get more inventory? Because right now this little itty bitty backpack isn't helping me at all. Uh, let me be honest. I don't really know that these are locked before I even try to open them. Children's drawing on the wall. Strange. Looks like he's working on some kind of blueprint. Huh? How'd you get in here? Ask what he's doing. Tell him you recognize him. Don't bother him. I would like to answer his question. Because the noteman from the first game just required you to do that. Kinda. Ask what he's doing. Excuse me, sir. What are you working on? That isn't any of your business. Now answer my question. Tell him you recognize him. Don't I know you from somewhere? What? Okay, he could be at the hardware store because I remember the guy there should be fit. Karaoke, I don't know. I don't think he's working at any of these places, bro. There was a person selling at the seafood, so that's not correct. I don't know about the karaoke, though. Hardware store? Don't you work at a nearby hardware store? Huh? You knew that? Well, yeah, it is the best one in the town. Yeah, I went there once when my computer broke down. Well, I'm guessing you haven't had to make a trip back, so you must have done something right. So, what are we drawing here? It's a trap I'm going to use for bear hunting. A local apothecary asked me to catch one. You know the livers fetch a high price. Yep, hunting is my hobby. I guess it makes sense that he's here because the la I'm guessing it's the lady from the grandma's cookies shop or something mentioned that someone uh, someone is walking through that location. So I'm guessing it's this guy. Makes sense that he's here. I saw his tools in the hardware store. I wonder what he can tell me about this trap. Is this something I can make myself? I'd like to learn. You? Planning on hunting bears too? You know bear hunting is illegal, right? Well, except for me. But since you're interested, well, all you need is some fishing line, a box of nails, and some strong glue. Huh? You can combine them to make caltrops. Oh, caltrops! Okay, that makes sense, because I thought that bear trap just seems like a bad idea. Because you just have to lay it down. <laughs> And when a monster is going after you, it's not a good idea. Be but cultures could work. You just throw them on the ground and they actually spring into action instantly. Or could just use them as a weapon to throw at the enemy. Spread them on the ground and no heavy animal will be able to avoid them. Whoa, that's pretty intense and cool. Thanks. I'd like to try making one. You could start with the fishing line. There are a bunch of seafood shops near the southwest side of the market. Use your imagination. There's a spare box of nails in my hardware store. Feel free to help yourself. Finally, glue. Hmm. You want something super strong. You know, I have a sticky mousetrap that uses the type you'll need. I'd be willing to part with it, but you'll need to at least trade me a snapping mousetrap. Just look for a place where they're likely to feed. When you've got everything, just use the crafting table in my hardware store. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alright, did not expect that. What do you need? Never mind. When you're... Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna do that in the future. You received a torn page. Three out of four. Born in the fold, young me. I'm, I'm saying her name like young me. Jung me, maybe? I've said all the other J characters as Jung, so I'm not quite sure why I called her young me. I think I made a mistake. When I was 12, my teacher shared the true nature of my studies. She revealed that our people had protected Korea from the forces of darkness since a time immemorial. There were others like us around the world who shared a similar burden as well. From the Inuit of Alaska to the Bobohizan of North Borneo, those of us who were born into the fold were to wage an unending war against the hostile entities seeking to spill into our realm. Historically, our people have faced much opposition and violence from those who did not understand our ways. It behooves us to continue our fight from the shadows, to avoid the scrutiny of the unenlightened. On that day, I finally understood the full weight of my responsibilities. 
It would be my duty to prevent a blood ritual and stop Vicious Sister's attempt to enter the Waking World. Shouldn't there be more, like, shades in this world that she should interact with, not just Vicious Sister? It just... I don't know, it just seems strange that there is this Vicious Sister and uh, everyone is just worried about her. Like, sure, she's an owner of uh, a place in this land, or this region, but still, it seems kinda weird that there isn't more shades that are at least a little bit threatening. Threatening. God fucking! I I saw him. I I I saw that wanker when he freaking slashed me. Hello? Anyone here? It looks like the shop is empty, and I don't have bandage, of course. Oh, it looks like the Doc Abbey shop with these things. I don't need a antidote right now, thank you. Okay, not this, I want to look at this. I, uh, uh, um, at least one bandage. How the heck, in the first game, bleeding wasn't a problem, so I found 200 bandages. In this game, poison isn't a problem so far, and I find 200 antidotes, what the hell, man? I don't like this. Could this be what I'm looking for? Wait, is bleeding ending? Because it's just flashing on the screen right here. Was it always? Hello? 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 I wanted to read? Okay, let me just load the safe. I know it's kinda cheating, but I wanted to read that. Thank you. I guess there's gonna be a cut here because I... I wanted to read that. And then this twat suddenly decides to... Hey! Can he go into the building? Let's see. Did I get scared because he was outside? Again! God damn it. Uh, fine. Yeah, yeah, cat, I know. I want to be at the exact same place as before. Oh, I need to find the note. Right. Yep, this one. Okay, I think we're on the same page as we were last time. Just need to get there. And not be freaking dumb. Okay, so... Okay, mm. Hey! Stop freaking talking, Mina, please! Are you serious? I thought you didn't see me. I guess you did. My man. Well, I guess I lost some health. Does that balance out the fact that I don't bleed anymore? Not really. But like what devs, I don't care. Do the monsters just disappear instantly after they stop chasing you, or do they, do they do something special? I don't know. Okay, let me preserve my energy so I can run. Sheesh. Okay, no monster around here. But like, why did Mina have to talk while I entered this place? I'm wondering if, uh, if I just read that, if the monster wouldn't uh, go after me. Is he stuck in place when I'm reading, or... Can he actually attack me? Whatever. Could this be what I'm looking for? It fits the description. I'd better bring this back to Mr. Dokaebi. Receive the Grimsang. Very pog. I wonder what's that sound when he makes that he makes when he's moving from place to place. Is he just jumping from the ceiling or what? Because it kinda sounds like he's driving around in a vehicle of some sort. Rather than he's moving around. I might be mistaken about that though. Okay, I'm guessing there's this one... No, it's not gonna be fishing line. What was the item that he wanted? Box of nails, right. I stepped on a nail once when I was seven years old. Hmm, I might have an idea for this. Receive the box of nails. You don't have an idea for this, you just... One dude just told you, hey, do this. <laughs> oh. Oh no, we're not outside right now. Okay. So I'm kinda safe. Ooh. I swear that animation is kinda broken. Like they just kinda fall. And by fall, I'm in like literally instantly. I guess we can activate this then. This switch seems to activate something. But you notice no new activity in your area. Sweet. 
Oh, you can see this. Oh, that's a cool new icon. I don't think this icon was in the game before. Or at least I haven't noticed it before. Oh, we're going to the Apothecarium already. Okay, he's on the left. I'm... I wanna see him. Okay, maybe he's not. No, no, don't hide there. Don't be dumb, need healer. Is he going after me? God damn, those steps are loud as fuck. Holy Christ, man. Like, Miss Song kinda made noise when she walked around. And the high heels kinda just were a bit loud if you were in the same location as her, because then th there was the echo sound. But in this, in, with this guy, like, he's wearing, I don't know, cemented boots or something? Like, goddamn, bro. You can hear him from like 10 miles away. What if, what will happen if I go to the butcher's shop? I'm not gonna test that though. Maybe in the future. Hey, I found something. Is this what we need? Let me have a look at that. You found it, kid. It's indeed the missing ingredient of our plasma tonic. Time to work the rest of my magic. Mm hmm a little of this, a little of that, some kimchi extract, and... Voila! Your friend's gonna be happier than a pig in mud when she sees this. Thank you so much! You received the plasma tonic. Now then, onto the topic of my compensation. No worries, I got your money right here. Splendid, let's see. I'm afraid you've come up short, my girl. This can't possibly cover the price of the elixir I just made. Are you serious? I had to bring my own Grimseng. You can't charge me full price. I suppose I could give you a special discount for your troubles, but I still gotta keep receipts to show the books are balanced. What the hell, I'm feeling generous tonight. Just put your drone Hancock here, and we're square. I, I, I don't know if I should... Hey, if you can't help with a little paperwork, it's no biggie. But you're not leaving with the plasma tonic. Besides, think of your friend. Uh, let's just get this over with. Where do I sign? Right here. It was a pleasure doing business with you, kid. <laughs> I did forget to... Shut up the achievements, my bad. What are you doing? Stop that! Vicious sister told me a few mortals would pass through tonight. Even promised I could keep my head if I got her just one true name. That's quite the bargain if you ask me. Wouldn't you agree, Mina Park? Nothing personal, kid! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Nothing personal, kid. It's just business after all. Toodles. <laughs> A ghastly atmosphere has overtaken the marketplace. I think I'm crying. That was hilarious. But yeah, I thought that. It's kind of suspicious that he wants us to sign something. Like I was like, okay, something is bad gonna happen. Maybe we're not gonna find that out at all. But nope. <laughs> Bro, my ears! I want to hear in my life! <laughs> Receive a turn page! Thank you. My man! Why does it have to be... No. Oh no, I didn't find two. Okay, never mind. We're good. Dokaebi. But it's kinda interesting that the Dokaebi was afraid of Vicious Sister. I didn't expect that aspect. The Dokaebi are semi-legendary creatures, well known in Korean folklore. These goblins, while technically classed as shades, have distinct attributes that separate them from their more common brethren. They possess an innate ability to use powerful magic, and much in the Shadow Realm, that may manifest in the form of blue goblin fire. They're also alchemists skilled in transmuting metals and concocting various elixirs. Dokebi are mischievous tricksters with a penchant for pranks. One only strikes bargains with them at their own peril. Koreans name Dokebi markets after the elusive nature of these entities and their ability to vanish. Okay, so this is interesting. So yeah, we just learned that they are deceitful and it makes sense. So he was pretending that it was a good deal that yeah, I'm getting generous today. Why not? I'm gonna let you do that. And then we just get the worst deal possible. And we can see the blue fire here, which is neat. So I'm assuming that the butcher is gonna be powered up, but I don't know what that means. I've never been stabbed by Miss Song yet. So I don't know if that means that they do two damage, because if yes, then Ohana bar goodbye. Or does it mean something else? I guess I can keep eat this. 
I'm also assuming that the they can maybe cause bleeding. Oh my god, lady, you scared me. Let me use my Konya. I was supposed to do that before I met her. No answer. Looks like I'm on my own. Bro, I literally just found out a mysterious elixir for you. Hyung Bae, help! Oh god damn it. Young me, help! Okay, I guess I'm on my own. Hello there, lady. Oh, fuck. Stupid girl, what have you done? Young me, I... Only one thing could have triggered such a powerful spell. This is Dokaebi magic. We've got to get out of the open. Follow me. The... No, that's the... That's not her. That's not Young Me. That's no fucking way that's Young Me. The... Wait, it was written! Right, it was written that the shades can... Uh, it is unknown to what uh, level they can change their forms. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna die if we go there. Let's do that. Hey, what did you mean Doc Heavy Magic a minute ago? Quiet, I will only ask you this one time. Did you tell anyone or anything in this market your name? What? No, I mean, I met a Doc Heavy Merchant, but we barely spoke. But... But? I sent a receipt. Idiot, you've jeopardized my entire night. I didn't have much of a choice, that the Goblin practically forced my hand. No, no, little bird, you always have a choice. The last thing you should ever do when striking bargains with a Dokaebi is give it your name. Hmm. Okay, I guess she wasn't the butcher. Thanks to that blunder, it's now an open season on you. Which means it's only a matter of time before she gets here and I'll be caught in the crossfire. She? Wait, who are you talking about? Shh, did you hear that? Young me? What have you done? Oh my god! I did not expect that! Okay, never mind. Wait, where is the save point? Kinda forgot. Sorry, Miss Song, but I'm gotta hear. Mm, I guess I'm leaving. Whoa, okay. I did not expect the butcher to actually get stabbed. Uh oh, I'm fucked. Dodge. Nice. Okay, we're safe. I should have brought some... What's called... Some healing energy, but I guess I'm dumb. But I didn't expect anyone in this game to get killed. I guess we finally see the true power of sister and her minion. Oh my god. You real? You for real? I love you, game. This game is so good. Yeah, it's all help. I'm assuming we're just supposed to run away. No response. I have the plasma tonic. I need to get back to the police office. Stat. Yo, Hyung Bae, I just met some traumatic fucking situation. Can you help? Dickhead. Okay, this is gonna be creepy. Imagine if sister called. Oh, it's gone dead. You could have chose any other word, Mina.